Fire the night, Tom and Pablo. Yeah, We got um, Roma De Silva now against Paul Fletcher. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know nothing about Paul Fletcher. I've seen, I've been in and around Roma. He's um, he's a solid boxer. He knows what he's on about. I can't say much about uh, Paul because I don't know nothing about him. To be fair, I don't know what his record is or anything. But I know Roma is the Bernard Hopkins of the white collar world. My African brother from another mother. Yeah, boy. In fact, I think I like it. Roma straight in. <laughs> From the first couple of exchanges. <laughs> Fletcher don't look like no slopes. <laughs> he's come here, he's game. <laughs> They're both spoiling each other's work at the minute. Fletcher needs to pull back. Just put his weight on his back foot a little bit. Create a little bit of space. He's smothering at the minute. Roman needs to stop him smothering. He needs to, he needs to get out of there and try and gain centre of the ring. <laughs> oh, he's knocked his gum shield out. Roman. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jamie has been man of many corners tonight. Roman needs to try and create a bit of distance. He's all over him. He's on him like herpes. He's over him like a rash at the minute. Roman's gone south, Paul. <laughs> Needs to start using that jab. Getting caught on the way in. <laughs> yeah, big time. <laughs> Fletcher's looking to hug now. I'll give that round to Fletcher. me, um, Fletcher won that round just because Roma wasn't able to stop him smothering his work. There weren't really any clean shots, there was maybe one or two, um, but none of them were really clean. I just feel like Fletcher caught him with a better shot. Yeah. Roma straight out ready. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> He's come out the block there looking for an boy. He needs a big round here, Roma. <laughs> to me, it feels like there's no, no power beyond Roma. Neither of them are setting up anything big there. Yeah. Roma throws a perfect <laughs> shot every time. It connects, but it's, there's nothing in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Perfect shot. But oh, that was a good shot. That was a great shot there. Caught him with a lovely left, uh, right hook there. <laughs> Roman needs to. Oh, that's great. That's a good shot. Right hand. I oh, know left hand. He's going south for it. Needs to create a bit of distance. They're both smothering their work a little bit now. Shot there from Roma. Good left hand. <laughs> Another nice jab. Caught him on the way in there. Yeah, Fletcher, seems to be tired, right? Fletcher is looking tired. And the thing is, Roma will do this all night. <laughs> He's as fit as a flea, Roma. Fletcher's looking to grab now. He's looking. He's the one looking to stop the action. <laughs> that was a good jab there, though, from Fletcher. Roman needs to stay switched on. That was a good body shot. Right hand to the body there. Yeah. I think he's going to stop him in the first place. It's hard to bit, say, yeah. Roman's going a bit of a game to go, isn't he? He's fighting like a break. To me, that, Roma, that round was to Roma. <laughs> Roman needs to up his rate. He needs to up his work rate in this next round. Flet Paul Fletcher's looking, he's definitely looking gassed. So if, o if Roma ups his work rate in this, uh, in this last round, it will no do well. Stop All, all on this round for me. I've got them both around a piece. We've got Paul in the first round, Roma on the second. Roma, Roma probably had him on that second through fitness alone. <laughs> if Roma shows that little bit of ring craft that we know he's got, I think it'd be alright. 
None of them were catching. He was riding all of them. He, he slipped most of them. I mean, as we know, Romo is the only man to stop Sean Grant. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely... Roma possesses a good shot. He's got a, he's got, he's got a good shot behind him. He's got a lack of weight. But the thing is with Roma, he reminds me a lot of Bernardo Hopkins. He, he's more of a spoiler. But if he does connect, you're going to feel it. I'm going to call him the executioner of the white collar world. That's what he is, Bernard Hopkins of the white collar world. I think he's win even though Paul's on him, I think Romo is winning them exchanges. And Paul's looking to hug straight away. Paul's catching him. Uh, Romo's catching him, sorry. Lovely uppercut. Lovely uppercut. He's caught him with a right over the top. <laughs> Roman needs to up his pace. Fletcher's just caught Roman with a good shot. Oh, this is a toe to toe war. This is brilliant. Go on, boys. This is a battle of attrition now. This is who wants it more. Brilliant action. This is brilliant action. This is what everyone comes to see. Everyone pays to see this. What a fight. What a fight. That Martin Hobbs there. I've just put out that Roma de Silva is the only guy to beat Sugar Sean Graham. Yeah, no, he um, he beat him by stoppage, didn't he? Yeah, I never saw it. Sean just told me about it. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, but he, he stopped Sugar Sean, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, that made a big upset. Sean, don't get me wrong, Sean was going for a bad time at the point, but I don't think he thought he was going to get beat. And on the night, Roma de Silva done the business. Sugar Sean Green went down, got beat by Roma. And then about a month later, Jamie Horn beat uh, Roma de Silva. The thing with Roma, for me, he's the Bernard Hopkins of the White Collar world. He's a good spoiler, and he, he, he knocks a lot of people out of their rhythm. But at the same time, he has got that little thing. I mean, if he if he managed to stop if he managed to stop Sugar Sean, it tells you that he's got a little bit of a. Thank you. 